God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, O comforter of the spirit of truth, who is everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto you ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Grant him to thy people victory over all their enemies. And by the power of thy cross, please hear thee my common will. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou who of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross. O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the nation which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, <coughs> that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries. Having in thy name the weapon of peace and a trophy invincible, both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O champion dread who cannot be put to confusion, despise not our petitions, O good, and our praise they O us. <coughs> Establish the way of the Orthodox, save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave us birth to God, and alone not blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness. We pray thee, hearken, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Glory to God in the highest. Blessed Father, in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy consubstantial life giving and undivided trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me, many say unto my soul, There is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. 
I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon my people. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head. As a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have, be, I have been wretched and utterly bowed down unto the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mocking, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, and my strength hath failed me, and the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me, and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils from me spake vain things. And craftiness all the day long they, uh, did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, will, yea when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and, my, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live and are made stronger than I, and they that hate me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slander me, because I pursue goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O my God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirst thirsteth for thee. How long hath my flesh longed after thee in a bit land barren and untrodden and unwatered? So in the sanctuary have I, have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lives. My lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life. And in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let, let my soul be filled. And with lips rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper. In the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee. Thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these, in vain have they sought after my soul. They shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God. Every one shall praise that sweareth by him. For the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper. In the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee. Thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day I have cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine, thine ear to my supplication, for filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit, I have become as a man without help, free among the dead. Like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed, my friends are far from me, they have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth, mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long, I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any of the grave tell of thy mercy, and of, in a, and of thy truth in that destruction. Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness, and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten. But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turneth thy face away from me? 
A poor man of mine, in troubles from my youth, yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came around me about like water, all the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day I have cried and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear into my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things. Thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wronged. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord has made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made. He hath remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know its place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commitment to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, give ear to my prayer and give ear give he, O Lord, hear my prayer and give ear to my supplication and thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He has sat me in darkness as those that have long been dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, and meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creation of thy waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, and my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest to be like them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of a brightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy my enemies, and thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of a brightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For this holy house, and for those who are with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
or Metropolitan Paul Archbishop John for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the President of the United States and all civil authorities and for our armed forces everywhere, especially Peter, Ronnie, Andrew, Joshua, Alex, Madison, Schuyler, Will, Benjamin, Thaddeus, and Adam, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, for healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord <clears throat> for travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, and especially for those suffering for the faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. give thanks unto the Lord for and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing and is marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Most blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who went by has made the fishermen most wise, descend down upon them the Holy Spirit, and by them this draw the world into thy net. O Lord of mercy, glory to thee, most blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who when thou hast made the fishermen most wise, did send down upon them the Holy Spirit, and by them destroy the world into thy net. O Lord of mercy, glory to thee, most blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who when thou hast made the fishermen most wise, did send down upon them the Holy Spirit, and by them destroy the world into thy net. O Lord of mercy, glory to thee. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. 
Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. <coughs> Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. So believers celebrate with joy the last feast, which is also the last of the feast, Pentecost, which is the end and fulfillment of the preordained promise. For then did come down the fire of the Comforter upon the earth in the likeness of tongues, lighting the disciples and revealing them plainly as initiates of heavenly things. Verily, the light of the Comforter hath come and lighted the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The spring of the Spirit hath come to those on earth, dividing noetically into fire-bearing rivers, moistening the apostles and illuminating them. The fire hath become to them a dewy cloud, light, lighting and raining flames upon them, from whom we received grace by the fire and the water. Verily the fire of the Comforter hath come and lighted the world. Both now endeavored unto ages of ages. Amen. After thy rising from the tomb, O Christ, and thy divine ascent to the celestial heights, Thou didst send thy glory, O compassionate one, to thy Godhead, seeing disciples, renewing in them a right spirit. Wherefore, like a musical harp, they proclaim their words unto all mystically, through the instrument of thy dispensation. O ye servants of praise the Lord, Alleluia. Praise ye the name of the Lord, O ye servants of the Lord, hallelujah. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, for the Lord is good. Chant unto his name, for it is good, hallelujah. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, Israel for his own possession, hallelujah. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our God is above our gods, hallelujah. All that the Lord hath willed, he hath done in heaven and on the earth, in the seas and in Hallelujah. Bringing clouds up from the uttermost parts of the earth, lighting for lightnings for the rain, hath he made hallelujah. He bringeth winds out of his treasuries, he smote the firstborn of Egypt. For man unto beast, hallelujah. He sent forth many signs and marvels in the midst of the old Egypt. On Pharaoh and on all his servants, hallelujah. He smote many nations and slew my many kings, hallelujah. For the Lord will judge his people and become of his servants, and because of his servants shall he be comforted, alleluia. Ye that fear the Lord, bless ye the Lord, blessed is the Lord out of Zion, who dwelleth in Jerusalem, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. A 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to Thee, O God. Our God and our hope, glory to Thee. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For blessed is thy name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. From my youth up, many pa <sighs> From my youth up, many passions have warred against me. But do thou help and save me, O oh my Savior. From my youth up, many passions have warred against me. But do thou help and save me, O oh my Savior. He who hates Zion shall be put to confusion of the Lord. Like grass in the fire shall he be withered up. He who hates Zion shall be put to confusion of the Lord. Like grass in the fire shall ye be withered up. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit is every soul quickened and exalted in purity and made resplendent by the triune unity in mystic holiness. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Through the Holy Spirit, the channels and streams of grace overflows, showering all creation with invigorating light. Thy good Spirit shall lead me in the land of a brightness. Thy good Spirit shall lead me in the land of a brightness. O Lord, hear my prayer, give, to, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Thy good Spirit shall lead me in the land of a brightness. Let us pray. Thou, o our God, who rest in the saints, and unto Thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye God in his saints, praise him in the firm foundation of his power. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Oh, Lord. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the holy gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Peace be to all, and to thy spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. 
On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth. The hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through the intercessions of the apostles, O thou who art merciful, blot out of the multitude of thy transgressions, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Thou who art merciful, blot out all the multitude of thy transgressions. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassions. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all immaculate Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven. 
at the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, all laudable apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the holy apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Christosnum, Athanasius, Cyril and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, Spiridon of Trimethos, and Nectarios of Pentopolis, the Wonder Workers, of our fathers among the saints, Tikhon, Patriarch of Moscow, and Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the Trophy Bearer, Demetrios the Merce Streamer, Theodore the Soldier, and Theodore the General, and Minas the Wonder Worker, of the Hyra Martyrs, Ignatius the God Bearer of Antioch, Charlampos and Eleutherios, of the holy, glorious, great women martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kyriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskeva, and Irene, of the holy, glorious, right, victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers who shone in the ascetic life, of Saint Barnabas, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, we beseech thee, O most merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of us sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy upon us. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. When the High One descended confusing tongues, he divided the nations, and when he distributed the fiery tongues, he called all to one unity. Wherefore, in unison we glorify the Most Holy Spirit. Grant speedy and lasting consolation to thy servants. O Jesus, when our spirits are despondent, be thou not parted from our souls in affliction, be thou not far from our minds in, in adversities, but do thou ever anticipate our needs. Draw nigh unto us, draw nigh. O thou who art ever everywhere present, and even as thou art ever with the, thine apostles, so do thou also unite unto thyself us who long for thee, O compassionate one that being united with thee, we may praise and glorify thine all-holy spirit. On this day, the eighth Sunday of Pascha, we celebrate, the, we celebrate Holy Pentecost. In a mighty wind, Christ distributed the divine spirit in the form of fiery tongues unto the apostles. In one great day, the spirit was poured out on the fishermen. On this day, the 50th after great and holy Pascha, we commemorate the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the holy disciples and apostles in the forms of tongues of fire. Numbering about 120, they followed the master gathered in Jerusalem in the upper room of a house to await the Lord's promise to send the Holy Spirit. At about the third hour of the day, there came a sound from heaven as of, as of a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the house. Cloven tongues immediately appeared, like as fire, and set upon the head of each of them. The apostles began to speak, not with the language of their ancestors, but with, the la with other languages which the Holy Spirit supplied them, as he inspired them. After the apostle Peter explained what had happened, 3,000 people joined the church on the inauguration of the priesthood of grace. The objectives of Pentecost are, namely, the coming of the Holy Spirit into the world, the fulfillment of the promise of Jesus Christ, and the completion of the undefiled hope of the apostles. By the intercessions of the holy apostles, O Christ our God, have mercy on us, amen. Let us praise him who overwhelmed Pharaoh and his chariots in the sea, who crusheth wars with a mighty hand, for he hath been glorified. The heavy, the heavy of tongues screened by the divine clouds proclaim the God-inscribed law. For he shook the dust from the eye of intelligence. 
Beholding the being and attaining the knowledge of the Spirit, singing divine songs of praise. God, it's call unto thy disciples, O Christ, saying, Stay ye in Jerusalem till ye be endued with the power from on high. And I will send thee another comforter like me, who is my spirit in the spirit of the Father, and in him ye shall be strengthened. And the prophet is of old, drawn near with contrite spirit to the mighty God of intelligence. By her prayer alone undid the bonds of the barren one's womb and the hard rebuke of her with children. When the prophet perceived thy coming in the last days, O Christ, he lifted his voice, crying, I have heard, O Lord, the hearing of thy mind, for thou didst verily come to save all thine anointed ones. O word, King of kings, who alone came forth from the only uncaused Father, since thou art the benefactor, Thou didst send the Holy Spirit, truly equal to thee in might, to the disciples who glorify thy power, O Lord. The Spirit of salvation, O Lord, for who fear of thee was conceived in the belly of the prophets and was begotten on earth. Have created the hearts of the apostles pure, being renewed in the faithful, for thy commands are light and peace. Mm -hmm. O children of the church, of illuminated likeness, receive ye the dew of the fire-breathing spirit, which is purification and absolution from crimes. For the law hath now gone forth out of Zion in the shape of tongues of fire, being the grace of the Holy Spirit. My soul hath been stirred with the agitation of worldly concerns. Yea, I am drowned therein from the sins that accompany me and cast to the soul-corrupting beast. Wherefore, like Jonah, I cry unto thee, O Christ, lift me out of the mortifying death. Thou hast shown for us from the Virgin, O Christ, Master, as forgiveness and salvation, to ex extriate from corruption, fall a madam from all his descendants. As thou didst extri extri extricate Jonah from the belly of the wild beast. The righteous Jews who were thrown into the furnace of fire changed the flames into dew and they lifted their voice in songs of praise. Crying thus, Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers. The unison of the instrumental music called people in trembling to the worship of lifeless, a lifeless image made of gold. But the light bearing grace of the Comforter doth move the faithful to cry out. O eternal Trinity, equal in power, thou alone art ever blessed. The unconsumed bush which mingled with fire in Sinai, made God known to the heavy-tongued and hoarse voice Moses. In like manner, God see manifested the three youths as unconsumed by fire. But praising thus, praise the Lord all his works, and exalt him more and more into the ages. We 
praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. The triradiant sign of divine headship, moisten the flames with you and loosen the bonds. For he is the benefactor, savior and creator of all. Wherefore the entire creation with the use does praise him and bless him only. Conceive not experiencing corruption, lending a body to the word, the creator of all, becoming a receptacle to thine inseparable creator, a dwelling place to thine incomprehensible maker. Wherefore, O virgin, thou talkest, be to Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Of all the fire breathing, zealous Elijah did mount with joy the all flaming chariot. Wherefore the sign did explain the rise of the gentle breeze, illuminating the apostles from on high through which they were lighted, making known to all the Trinity. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Strange things contrary to the law of nature are now heard. For by the one voice which the disciples received in diverse kinds, through the grace of the Spirit, all the nations, tribes, and tongues heard the great things of God, and received the knowledge, knowledge of the Holy Trinity. Rejoice, O Queen, by the virgins and mothers, for every eloquent and capable man Death fall short of extolling thee worthily, and every mind is dazzled at understanding the manner of thy birth giving. Wherefore in unison do we glorify thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us worthily praise the Maiden, who revived nature, who alone did screen the word in her womb, the same who healed the weakness of mankind, sat on the right hand of the Father, and sent the Spirit of the grace of, of the Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. We on whom the grace coming from God did blow have become illuminous and bright, bright changed in a resplendent manner of exceeding beauty. Comprehend.
praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Today all the nations in the city of David beheld wonders. When the Holy Spirit descended in fiery tongues, as the God-inspired Luke spake. For he said the disciples of Christ being gathered together, there was a sound as of a mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And they began to speak strange doctrines and strange teachings with diverse tongues to the Holy Trinity. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp. Today all the nations in the city of David beheld wonders. When the Holy Spirit descended in fiery tongues, as the God-inspired Luke spake, for he said, the disciples of Christ being gathered together, there was a sound as of a mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And they began to speak strange doctrines and strange teachings, with diverse tongues to the Holy Trinity. Praise him with the timbrel and dance, praise him with string instruments and organs. The Holy Spirit hath ever been, is, is, and ever shall be. For he is holy without beginning and without end. Yet he is in, in covenant with the Father and the Son, counted as life and life giver, light and light giver, good by nature and a fountain of goodness, through whom the Father is, is known and the Son is glorified. And by all it is understood that one power, one rank, one worship are of the Holy Trinity. Praise Him upon the loud cymbals, praise Him on the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Light, life, and a living noetic fountain is the Holy Spirit. Good, upright, noetic spirit of understanding and purifying offenses. God, understanding, presiding, and purifying offenses. God, and deifying, fire projecting from fire, speaking, active distributor of gifts, through whom all the prophets, the apostles of God, and the martyrs are crowned. A strange report, a strange sight, a fire divided for the distribution of gifts.
praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks unto Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. O Thou who takest away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, O Thou who sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless Thee, Bowed safe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we do put our hope in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord. Teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in all generations. I said, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see thee. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Most blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who when thou hast been the fisherman most wise, did stand down upon them the Holy Spirit, and by them did draw the world into thy bed. O Lord of mercy, glory to thee. Master, give the blessing. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. 
for this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and for our armed forces everywhere, especially Peter, Ronnie, Andrew, Joshua, Alex, Madison, Skyler, Will, Benjamin, Thaddeus, and Adam, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, for healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, especially for those impacted by the coronavirus and their families, for captives in their salvation, and especially for those suffering for the faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Their proclamation has gone out into all the earth, and their words to the ends of the universe. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, never Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Lord answer you in the day of trouble. 
name of the Lord of Jacob protect you. O gracious comforter, save us who sing to thee. Alleluia. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. O gracious comforter, Save us who sing to thee, Alleluia. May he remember all your offerings and fulfill all your plans. O gracious Comforter, save us who sing to thee, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and immortal Word of God, who for our salvation this will to be incarnate of the Holy Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and without change, just become man, and was crucified, O Christ our God, trampling down death by death, who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most Lord, blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, never Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life under Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, in thy strength the King shall be glad, and in thy salvation shall he rejoice exceedingly. Most blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who in thou hast been the fish in most wise, did send out upon the Holy Spirit, and by the destroyed the world into thy hands. O Lord of mercy, glory to thee. The desire of his heart hast thou granted unto him, and hast not denied him the request of Bless his lips. Most blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who in thou hast made the fishermen most wise, did stand down upon them the Holy Spirit, and by them didst draw the world into thy net. O Lord of mercy, glory to thee. And thou wentest before him with blessings of goodness, Thou hast set upon his head a crown of precious stones. Most blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who when thou hast made the fisherman most wise, did send down upon them the Holy Spirit, and by them didst draw the world into thy net. O Lord of mercy, Glory to thee. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest him length of days unto ages of ages. Most blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who when thou hast made the vision in most wise, did send down upon them the Holy Spirit, and by them destroy the world into thy death. Is 
wisdom let us attend. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thine own strength. We will sing and praise thy power, O good comforter, save us who sing unto To thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. And unto ages of ages. Amen. As many as have been baptized into Christ. And on, their voices gone out into all the earth, the heavens declare the glory of God. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly a sound came from heaven like the rush of a mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues of fire distributed and resting on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound the multitude came together, and they were bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. And they were amazed and wondered, saying, are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each 
of us in his own native language, Parthenians and Medes and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya beyond, belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Ar Arabians, we hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. Peace be to thee that read it. And to thy spirit. Alleluia. from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee, O Lord. Let us attend. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and proclaimed, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the spirit, which those who believed in him were to receive. For as yet the spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, many of the people said, this is really the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But some said, is the Christ to come from Galilee? Has not the scripture said that the Christ is descended from David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was? So there was a division among the people over him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers then went back to the chief priests and Pharisees who said to them, why did you not bring him? The officers answered, no man ever spoke like this man. The Pharisees answered them, Are you led astray, you also? Have any of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd who do not know the law are accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to him before and who was one of them, said to them, Does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does? They replied, are you from Galilee too? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to arise from Galilee. And Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Glory to thee. No homily this morning, but <laughs> I think the, uh, the prayers of kneeling that we'll do after the service are more than adequate to, well, describe what the service is about, even as we are praying for uh, the power and descent of the Holy Spirit upon us. But I want to read a letter that our Metropolitan Joseph sent out earlier in the week. Um, for this sort of Pentecost time. Beloved faithful in Christ, greetings and blessings to you and your families as we prepare for our celebration of Holy Pentecost. As we stand between these two great feasts of the ascension of our Lord and Holy Pentecost, our festal joys intermingled with profound sadness and grief. We witness the brutal murder of a defenseless man, George Floyd, by the men entrusted by our society to uphold peace and justice. As Orthodox Christians, we are appalled by this act of unjust violence, and we fervently entreat the Lord to grant repose to George's soul and to comfort and comfort and peace to his grieving family and loved ones. We are also witnessing protests that speak to the wider issues of racial prejudice 
and injustice in our society. We, though we do not condone chaos and violence as a means of protest, as they only serve to fan the flames of anger and hatred and harm, the very communities the peaceful protesters are working to improve. As Antiochian Orthodox, we can offer our broken-hearted empathy, as many of our faithful have come from countries where they have experienced injustice. And we must forcefully proclaim the equal dignity of every human person as created in the image and likeness of God. As we see the images of so many places set aflame, let us contemplate the images of fire that the Church will offer us this weekend. On Sunday morning, today, we will chant a festal hymn, All the nations in the city of David beheld wonders, when the Holy Spirit descended in fiery tongues. This hymn and many others speak to the teaching that the Feast of Pentecost healed the division of humanity into competing nations as a result of the Tower of Babel. In the Old Covenant, God fashioned for himself a people to receive the law. In the New Covenant, God brings all the nations into unity through the gift of the Holy Spirit, as Christ foretold to the Samaritan woman just a few short weeks ago, that all would worship God in spirit and in truth. We live in a time when events provoke us to burn with the passions of anger and divisiveness. This weekend, the Church will call us to burn with love and reconciliation toward all. I would like to pose the question, which fire will we welcome into our hearts? There is an instructive note placed before the prayers of preparation for the Holy Communion that reads, If thou desirest, O man, to eat the body of the Master, approach with fear, lest thou be scorched, for it is fire. And before drinking the divine blood unto communion, reconcile thyself to them that have wronged thee, then dare to eat the mystical food. To receive the fire that is communing with our Creator, we must put out the flames of our anger and judgments of others and seek reconciliation, even with those who have wronged us. As we celebrate Pentecost in the midst of these tumultuous days, let us, as Orthodox Christians, quench the flames of our hatred and passions, that we be set afire with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us cultivate the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control, and work towards the love and reconciliation of all. With fervent prayers for healing and peace, I remain your Father in Christ, Metropolitan Joseph, Archbishop of New York, and Metropolitan of all America. Hello, folks. Save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom. That guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. No one who is bound with the desires and pleasures of the flesh is worthy to approach or draw nigh or to serve thee, O King of glory. For to serve thee is a great and terrible thing, even to the heavenly powers. And nevertheless, through that unspeakable and boundless love for mankind, thou hast become man, yet without change or alteration. And as Lord of all is taken, Deliver unto us the ministry of the Saturday of our Lord's sacrifice. For thou alone, O Lord our God, rulest over those in heaven and on earth, who art born on the throne of the cherubim, who are Lord of the seraphim, and King of Israel. O Lord, our holy and restful life of the Christ. Wherefore, I implore thee, O Lord, our good and our ready to listen, hold thou upon me, a sinner, and thine unprofitable servant, and cleanse my soul and my heart from an evil conscience, and by the power of thy Holy Spirit. Stand before this thy holy table and perform the sacred mystery of thy holy and immaculate body and precious blood. For I draw near unto thee, and bowing my neck, I pray thee, turn not thy face from me, neither cast me out from among thy children, but vouchsafe that these gifts may be offered unto thee by me, thy sinful and unworthy servant. For thou art thyself for he that all is offered that accepts and is distributed, O Christ our Lord.
Metropolitan Joseph and all our brotherhood in Christ, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For Metropolitan Paul and Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity and safe return, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and our armed forces everywhere, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Orthodox servants of God, especially for the Archpriest Wayne, for Wanda, Teresa, Michelle, Doug, Linda, Stephen, 
Scott and Yumi, Dennis, Celeste, John, Aaron, Liam, Emily, Maggie, Kelsey, Stacy, that they have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and remission of their sins. The Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the Orthodox servants of God departed this life, especially for the Archpriest John and for Archer, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls, and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance for a Christian end to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. <coughs> Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and, <clears throat> and our whole life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy Spirit. Let us love one another, that with one accord we may confess. Let us sit. 
10. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, the very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand to ride, let us stand with fear. Let us attend, though we may offer the holy oblation in peace. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is meet and right to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. It is meet and right to him thee, to bless thee, to praise thee, to give thanks unto thee, and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and eternally the same, thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. Thou it was who didst bring us from non-existence into being, and when we had fallen away, didst raise us up again, and didst not cease to do all things until thou hast brought us back to heaven, and hast endowed us with thy kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks unto thee and to thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. For all things of which we know and of which we know not. And for all the benefits bestowed upon us both manifest and unseen. And we give thanks unto thee also for this ministry. Which thou dost vouchsafe to receive at our hands. Even though there stand beside thee thousands of archangels and ten thousands of angels. Cherubim and the seraphim, six winged, many eyed, soaring along, borne on their pinions, singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, <laughs> With these blessed powers, be also master, blessed, and kind, pray, and I will save holy art thou, and all holy. Thou and thy only begotten Son, and thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou, and all holy. my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins and likewise after suffering he took the cup saying drink ye all of this this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins Having in remembrance, therefore, this saving commandment, 
and all those things that have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the session at the right hand, and the second and glorious advent. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. this bread the precious body of thy Christ Amen. and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ Amen. changing them by thy Holy Spirit Amen. 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 that to those who shall partake thereof they may be unto cleansing of soul unto the remission of sins unto the communion of thy Holy Spirit unto the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven unto boldness toward thee, and not unto judgment, or unto condemnation. And again we offer unto thee this reasonable service for all those who in faith have gone before us to their rest, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially our O Holy Immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. And for the Holy Prophet. was found to be with child, and its to the word who devised all things. O mother who has not known wedlock, O Virgin Theotokos, vessel of the uncontainable one, dwelling place of joy, boundless passion, be to be Among the first be mindful, O Lord, of our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And all mankind. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with thy spirit. Calling to remembrance all the saints again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, heavenly, and ideal altar for an order of spiritual fragrance, will send on upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life under Christ our God. Vouchsafe, O Lord, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon Thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, do, 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 do. 
Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. and compassion and love toward man of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Look down, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from thy holy dwelling place and from the throne of the glory of thy kingdom, and come to sanctify us, O thou who sitteth on high with the Father, and art here invisibly present with us, and vouchsafe by thy mighty hand to impart unto us thine immaculate body and precious blood, and through us unto all the people. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Let us be Holy things are for the holy. Broken and distributed is of thine immaculate mysteries, unto remission of my sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystic supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies, neither will I give thee a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, not into judgment, nor into condemnation, be my partaker of thy holy mysteries, O Lord, but unto the healing of soul and body. Lo, I draw nigh unto Christ, our mortal King, our God, the precious Holy Spirit. I'm 
is the shadow in my soul out of affliction. Thy good spirit shall leave me in the land of a bright land. In thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. Thy good spirit shall be in the land of a bright land. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul. For I am thy servant, thy good spirit shall be me in the land of a bright land. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication and thy truth. Hearken unto me and thy righteousness. Thy good spirit shall be shall no man living be justified. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of a brightness. I remember days of old Meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of thy hands. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of the brightness. Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and for life everlasting. Thy good spirit
the pressure so my good save thy people and bless thine inheritance. <clears throat> Most blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who when thou hast made the vision in most wise, 
Taken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life giving and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. We give thanks unto thee, O Lord, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls and bodies, for that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear. Guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In thy name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and recompense by thy divine power. And forsake us not who hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to all civil authorities, to our armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good and perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Our God, blessed be the name of the Lord, the dispensation of the Father, filled with hearts with joy and gladness, and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name. mercy come upon you through his grace and love towards men, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory 
of the All-Holy Spirit from heaven upon his holy disciples and apostles in the form of fiery tongues for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all-immaculate and all-blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all-laudable apostles, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, mm -hmm. whose divine liturgy we have now celebrated, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of Saint Barnabas, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Well, blessed feast. And uh, as you know, by in honor of uh, Pascha, we have not knelt for 50 days. Well, that's all about to come to an end because we will now pray the prayers of kneeling, the prayers of God sending forth his spirit upon creation to renew it. And uh, we won't do the whole service, but we'll do mostly the prayers and, and some of the petitions. Um, and it'll be a wonderful, blessed Pentecost feast. And I, the only bad news is that this week, in honor of Pentecost, is fast free. So. <laughs> We'll have to cope with that. I am ready. Master, give the blessing. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointed the cloud, clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who established the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss, like a garment, is his mantle, and upon the mountain shall the water stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down into the place which thou hast established them. Thou appointest a bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs from the valleys between the mountains where the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Besides them will the birds of the heavens lodge, from the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle, and green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine that maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There where the sparrows make their nests, and the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. You appointed the darkness, and there was the night, wherein the bee, all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun arises, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. Man goes, goes forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. 
The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. Wherein are things creeping innumerable, living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on all things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things will be filled with thy goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth and maketh it tremble, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him. I will rejoice in the Lord. O oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that, that they should be no more. Lust the Lord, O oh, my soul. The sun knoweth is going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy, are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and suffering, especially those from the virus, for captives and their salvation, especially for those suffering for the faith, let us pray to the Lord. For the people here present, who await the grace of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. For those who bow their hearts and their knees before the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. That he may strengthen us so that we may bring to perfection those things that are well pleasing unto him, let us pray to the Lord. That he may send down his rich mercies upon us, let us pray to the Lord. That he may accept the bending of our knees as incense before him, let us pray to the Lord. For those that are in need of his help, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all-holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For unto
to thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. immaculate, undefiled, unoriginate, invisible, incomprehensible, inscrutable, unchanging, unsurpassable, immeasurable, forbearing, who alone has immortality, who dwelleth in light unapproachable, who hath made heaven and earth and the sea and all created things therein, who grant us unto all men their petitions before they ask. We pray thee and beseech thee, O Master, who lovest mankind, the Father of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of Mary, the ever-Virgin and most glorious Theotokos, 
who first taught us in words and afterwards to show by deeds, by enduring the saving passion, who gave us thy humble and sinful and unworthy servants an example whereby we should offer unto thee prayers with the bending of the neck and the knees, both for our sins and for the ignorance of the people. Do thou thyself, who art great in mercy and lovest mankind, hearken unto us in that day when we shall call unto thee, and especially on this day of Pentecost, on which, after our Lord Jesus Christ, had ascended into the heavens and sat down at the right hand of thee, the God and Father, he sent down upon his holy disciples and apostles the Holy Spirit, which did also sit upon each of them, and they were filled <coughs> with his inexpressible, inexhaustible grace, as they spake with other tongues of thy greatness, and they prophesied. Hearken, therefore, to us now who pray to thee, and remember us humble and condemned as we are. And turn again the captivity of our souls. Thou who hast thine own compassion as intercessor for us, receive us who fall down before thee and cry, We have sinned. We have cleaved unto thee from our birth, even from our mother's womb. Thou art our God, but since our days have passed in vanity, we have been stripped of thine aid. We have been deprived of every defense. But emboldened by thy compassions, we call out, Remember not the sins of our youth and our ignorance. Cleanse thou us of our secret sins. Cast us not away in time of old age when our strength faileth. Forsake us not. Before we return to the earth, make us worthy to turn again unto thee and attend to us in favor and grace. Measure our transgressions according to thy compassion. Set the depth of thy compassions against the multitude of our offenses. Look down from thy holy heights, O Lord, upon thy people here present who await of thee of thy great rich and mercy. Visit us in thy goodness. Deliver us from the power of the devil. Make firm our lives with the, thy holy and sacred laws. Entrust thy people to a faithful guardian angel. Gather us all into thy kingdom. Grant pardon to those that hope in thee. Forgive them and us our sins. Purify us by the operation of thy Holy Spirit. Destroy the snare set for us by the enemy. Blessed art thou, O Lord, Master Almighty, who has lightened the day with the light of the sun and has illumined the night with flashes of fire, who has vouchsafed us to pass through the length of the day and to draw near to the beginning of the night. Hearken to our prayer and to that of all thy people, and having pardoned us all our voluntary and involuntary sins, receive our evening supplications and send down the multitude of thy mercy and compassions upon thine inheritance. Wall us in with thy holy angels. Arm us with the armor of thy righteousness. Make us a bulwark about us with thy truth. Guard us with thy power. Deliver us from every oppression and every plot of the adversary. Grant us also that the, peace, that the present evening and the coming night and all our days of our life may be perfect, holy, peaceful, sinless, without stumbling blocks, without fantasy, through the intercessions of the holy Theotokos and of all the saints, who have in all ages been well pleasing unto thee. Stand. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. Raise us up and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most, most blessed and glorious lady of our souls and ever to Mary. All the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. To thee, Lord. For thine it is to show mercy on us and to save us, O our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who has given thy peace to men, and being present still in this life, dost ever grant the gift of thine all Holy Spirit to the faithful, as an inheritance that cannot be taken away. Thou didst send down today in a manner most clear this grace upon thy holy disciples and apostles, 
and didst open their lips with tongues of fire. Through them every race of men hath received through the hearing of the ear the knowledge of God in our own languages. We have been enlightened by the light of the Spirit, and we have been freed from delusion as from darkness. And through the distri distribution of the perceptible tongues of fire and the wondrous operation of the same, we have been taught the faith that is in thee, and we have been illumined so as to praise thee with the Father and the Holy Spirit in one Godhead and power and authority. For thou art the brightness of the Father, the express image, inalterable and immovable, of his essence and nature, the fountain of wisdom and of grace. Open thou also the lips of me, the sinner, and teach me how I ought, and for what ought I must pray. For thou knowest the multitude of my sins, but thy compassion shall overcome the enormity thereof. For lo, in fear I stand before thee, unto the sea of thy mercy have I cast the desperation of my soul. Govern my life, O thou who governest all creation with thy word, and with the unutterable power of thy wisdom, O tranquil haven of the storm-tossed, and make known to me the way wherein I should walk. Grant to my reasoning the spirit of thy wisdom, and give the spirit of understanding to my foolishness. Overshadow my deeds with the spirit of thy fear, and renew a right spirit within me. And with thy governing spirit establish my faltering mind, that being guided every day by thy good spirit toward that which is useful, I may be vouchsafed to keep thy commandments and always to remember thy glorious coming again, which shall search out our deeds. Despise me not, lest I be deceived by the corrupting pleasures of the world, but enable me to yearn for the enjoyment of the treasures of that to come. For thou hast said, O Master, that whatsoever may be asked in thy name, thou shalt be freely received from thy co-eternal God and Father. I, the sinner, therefore, at the descent of thy Holy Spirit, do supplicate thy goodness. Do thy render, thou render unto me whatsoever I have asked, unto salvation. Yea, O Lord, the good and abundant giver of every benefit, for thou hast granted most abundant that which we ask. Thou art he that sinlessly became the compassionate, merciful partaker of our flesh, and to those that bend their knees before thee, dost thou graciously bend down and become the propitiation of our sins. Grant then, O Lord, the, com thy compassions to thy people. Hearken to us from thy holy heaven. Sanctify them by the power of thy saving right hand. Shelter them with the shelter of thy wings. Despise not the works of thy hands. Against thee only do we sin, but thee alone do we also adore. We know not how to worship a strange God, nor how to stretch forth our hands to any other God. O oh, Master, forgive us our offenses, and accept our prayers with the bending of our knees. Extend to us the hand of thine aid, and receive the prayer of all as an acceptable incense, rising before thy most good kingdom. O oh, Lord, Lord, who deliver us from every arrow that flieth by day, deliver us also from everything that walketh in darkness, Receive the lifting up of our hands as an evening sacrifice. Vouchsafe us also to pass without reproach the course of night, untempted of evil things, and redeem us from every disturbance and dread that cometh to us from the devil. Grant unto our souls contrition, and unto our thoughts care concerning the trial of thy fearful and righteous judgment. Nail our flesh to the fear of thee, and mortify our earthly members, that even in the quietness of sleep we may be illumined by the contemplation of thy judgments. Withdraw from us every unseemly fantasy and injurious desire. Raise us up again at the time of prayer, confirmed in the faith and progressing in thy commandments. Help us. Save us, have mercy on us, raise us up and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. All in your remembrance are all holy and accurate. Most blessed and glorious of the Savior. With all saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our full life unto Christ our God. To favor and grace of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, 
together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. fountain of life and light, for his creative power and co-eternal with the Father, who has most excellently fulfilled the whole dispensation of the salvation of mortals, Christ our God, who dispersed the indestructible bonds of death and the bolts of Hades, and has trampled down the multitude of evil spirits, who didst offer thyself as a blameless victim, giving thine immaculate body as a sacrifice, unblemished and inviolate of all sin. And through that dread and indescribable act of sacrifice, bestowing eternal life upon us, who didst descend into Hades and break down its eternal bars, showing forth the way up to those who sat in the lower world, who with allurements of divine wisdom didst entice the author of evil, the dragon of the abyss, and with cords of gloom didst bind him in Hades in unquenchable fire, and didst confine him in outer darkness by thine infinite might. Thou who art greatly glorified, the wisdom of the Father, thyself is manifest as a great helper to the oppressed, and is enlightened those who sat in darkness and in the shadow of death. Thou, Lord of eternal glory, and beloved Son of the Father Most High, light everlasting of light everlasting, Son of righteousness, hearken unto us who pray unto thee, and give rest to the souls of thy servants, our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us, and our other kinsmen after the flesh, and all thine own who are in the faith, for whom thou we now maketh memorial. For in thee is the power over all, and in thy hand thou holdest all the ends of the earth. Almighty Master, God of our fathers and Lord of mercies, maker of the race of mortals and immortals, and of every nature of man, of that which is brought together and again put asunder, of life and of the end of life, of sojourning here and of translation there, Thou who dost measure the years of life and set the times of death, who bring us down to Hades and raise us up, binding in infirmity and releasing unto power, dispensing present things according to the need and ordering of those to come as an expedient, quickening with the hope of resurrection those who are smitten with the sting of death. Thyself, O Master of all, Lord, our God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of those who are far off upon the sea, who in this last and great saving day of Pentecost did show forth to us the mystery of the Holy Trinity, consubstantial and co-eternal, undivided and unmingled, and is pour out the descent and presence of thy holy and life-giving Spirit in the form of tongues of fire upon the holy apostles, appointing them to be the evangelists of our pious faith, and showing them to be the confessors and preachers of the true theology who also on this all-perfect and saving feast does stain to receive oblations and supplications for those bound in Hades, and grant us unto us great hope that respite and comfort will be sent down from thee to the departed from the grief that doth bind them. Hearken unto us, thy humble and impiteous ones who pray, give rest to the souls of thy servants who have fallen asleep before us in a place of brightness, a place of verdure, a place of repose, whence all sickness, sorrow, and sighing have fled away. And do thou place their souls in the tabernacles of the righteous, and make them worthy of peace and repose. For the dead praise thee not, O Lord, neither do those in Hades dare to offer thee confession. But we the living bless thee and supplicate thee and offer propitiatory prayers and sacrifices for their souls. O God, who art great and eternal, holy and lovest mankind, who is about safe unto us to stand also at this hour before thine unapproachable glory, that we may hymn and praise thy wonders. Be gracious unto us, thine unworthy servants, and grant us grace that with contrite heart and without presumption we may offer unto thee the thrice holy glorification and thanksgiving for thy great gifts which thou hast granted and dost ever grant us. Remember, O Lord, our infirmity and destroy us not for our transgressions. But be merciful to our humility, that fleeing from the darkness of sin, we may walk in the day of righteousness, and clothed with the armor of light, we may preserve unassailed from every attack from the evil one, so that with boldness we may glorify thee in all things, 
the only true God and lover of mankind. For in thine in truth is the great mystery, O Master and Maker of all, both the temporary dissolution of thy creatures and their restoration thereafter, and of eternal rest. We confess thy grace in all things, in our coming into this world, and in our going forth therefrom, which things faithfully pledge unto us through thine unfailing promise, our hopes of the resurrection and of life incorruptible, which we shall receive hereafter at the second coming. For thou art both the author of our resurrection and the impartial judge of those who have lived and the lover of mankind and the master and Lord of recompense, who didst partake with us on equal terms of flesh and blood through thine extreme condescension and of our irreproachable passions where thou dost willingly submit to temptation since thou dost possess tenderness and compassion. And thyself, having suffered temptation, art become for us who are tempted the helper, which thou thyself hast promised to be, and therefore thou hast led us to thy passionlessness. Receive therefore, O Master, our prayers and supplications, and give rest to all the fathers and mothers and children and brothers and sisters of each one of us, and to any other of our kindred and of our people, and to every soul that hath gone to rest before us in the hope of resurrection to life everlasting. Set their spirits and their names in the book of life, in the bosom of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in the land of the living, in the kingdom of heaven, in a paradise of bliss, leading all by thy radiant angels into thy holy abode, raising up also with thee our bodies in the day which has been appointed according to thy holy and unfailing promise. There is therefore, O Lord, no death unto thy servants. For when we go both forth from the body and come unto thee, our God, but a change from things most sorrowful unto things most good and most sweet and rest and joy. And though we have sinned against thee, be gracious unto us and unto them. For none is pure of stain in thy sight, though his life be for but a day. Except thou alone who didst reveal thyself sinless on the earth, O Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we all hope to obtain mercies and the forgiveness of sins. Do thou, therefore, as the good God who lovest mankind, remit, forgive, pardon them and us, our offenses, voluntary and involuntary, those done with knowledge or in ignorance, those manifest or unnoticed, those of deed, of thought, of word, those of all our acts and movements, and to those who have been taken from us, give freedom and respite, and bless us who are here present, granting a good and peaceful ending to us and to all thy people, and open unto us thy tender mercies and thy love for mankind at thy dread and fearful coming again, and make us worthy of thy kingdom. O great and most high God, who alone has immortality and dwellest in light and unapproachable, who has made all creation in wisdom, and who has divided the light from the darkness, and appointed the sun to rule the day, the moon, and the stars also to rule the night, who has vouchsafed unto us sinners at this present hour to also to come before thy presence with confession and to offer unto thee our evening prayers. Do thou thyself, O Lord, who lovest mankind, direct our prayer as incense before thee and accept it as a savor of sweet-smelling fragrance, and grant that we may pass the present evening and the coming night in peace. Endue us with the armor of light. Deliver us from the terror of the night and from everything that walketh in darkness. And grant that the sleep which thou hast appointed for the repose of our weakness may be free from every imagination of the devil. Yea, O Master of all, bestower of good things, may we, being moved to compunction upon our beds, call to remembrance thy name in the light, that enlightened by meditation on thy commandments, we may rise up in joyfulness of soul to glorify thy goodness, offering up to thy tender love prayers and supplications for our sins and for those of all thy people, whom do thou visit in mercy through the intercessions of the holy Theotokos. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, raise us up and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ. 
the repose of our souls and bodies, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. Lord our God, who didst bow the heavens and come down for the salvation of mankind, look upon thy servants and thine inheritance. For unto thee, the fearful judge, who yet lovest mankind, have thy servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts, and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the might of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
Christ our God, the existing one, is blessed, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Holy Theotoko, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption bearest God the word, and are truly Theotoko, we magnify thee. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our whole glory to thee. himself from the divine bosom of the Father, and came down from heaven to earth, and took upon himself all of our nature and deified it, and afterward ascended again into heaven and sat at the right hand of God the Father, and sent down his holy dis sent upon his holy disciples and apostles, the divine and holy spirit, one in essence, equal in power, equal in glory, and co everlasting with him, and through him enlightened them, and through them the whole world. Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, of the holy, glorious, and all laudable, God-proclaiming and spirit-bearing apostles, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Bless the feast. Bless, Bless the, the feast. feast. And we do celebrate uh, this Wednesday, uh, I think it's the 10th, uh, the paternal feast, our paternal feast, St. Barnabas, in a Vesperal liturgy. I don't know who all is, <laughs> is coming, uh, but Stella will send something out this week. Uh, if it was up to me, everybody could come, but I guess we're, we still have rules that we have to follow. And uh, that's that. I welcome all now to come forward for the veneration of the Holy Cross or the icon as you prefer. <clears throat> 